Hey guys, Coach Dana Cavalier here with you, and today we're going to talk breathing, right? Breathing, breathing, breathing. It's something that we all do every single day, but how many of us are actually aware of our breath? How many are aware of how many breaths we take per minute, per hour, per day? Chances are you're not. It's a part of your autonomic nervous system. It happens naturally, much like your heartbeat. And it's something that we only pay attention to typically when we are in a situation of stress or when we feel accelerated because of some kind of pressure. So here's the thing. What I like to focus on is something called tempo breathing. I like to use a 4-4-4 four, four, four tempo breath for four minutes, okay? So hear me out. It's four seconds in, right? And you should feel yourself getting tall if you're doing it seated, but if you're doing it laying down, you should feel your stomach expanding, right? And taking in deep levels of breath that you typically don't take during the day, right? So four seconds in, you're gonna hold for four seconds, but you're gonna remain relaxed even when you're holding, and then a long four second breath out. And I like to actually count the breaths, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now, obviously, I'm not speaking those numbers while I'm going through the exercise, but in my mind, I'm thinking about staying in line with the numbers and I'm staying present because I'm thinking about the numbers, okay? So, very simply, four seconds in, hold for four seconds, release for four seconds, and you're gonna do that for four minutes. You can do it with your eyes closed, which I prefer, or you can do it with your eyes open if you prefer. So again, it's it's not so much about all these different rules, it's just sticking to the breath and staying on tempo. And the ultimate goal is for this to actually release you and get you to feel a deeper sensation of relaxation and allow your body to be taken over by the feelings of relaxation as opposed to the feelings of tension that we typically feel. Over time, so many of us, we start to hold tension. We can feel it in our shoulders, in our neck, in our jaw, in our forearms, right? And over time, that starts to cause some different problems. Like back pain is something that's typically associated with high levels of tension, and we want to avoid that. So if we could commit to doing this type of tempo breathing exercise, even if it's a Monday to Friday as a part of our routine, we wake up, we do it in the morning. For those of you that are at desks, it's something you could do midday, you know, pair it with your lunch. And then it's something you could do at night when you transition and you go home from work or you can use it as a way to conclude your work day to actually help you transition and relax so you can go into this free mode or back into your real home life and you can actually use this as a way to induce relaxation and induce transition. So it's something that's so important and you may even see a lot of ball players you know, when they're hitting, especially they're here, they'll take a breath in and they'll let that breath out because it, it helps them to stay present in the moment and not hold all the tension and hold all the stressors that they could very well and very easily hold, you know, from fanfare to the noise, all of that. For you, it's the same thing. We just want to keep you in the moment as best we can because, you know, these things, these phones here, they take us out of the moment pretty quickly and we're reactive and we're bouncing here and we're bouncing there and we're bouncing all over the place. So if you feel yourself at any point reactive, just remember 444 tempo breathing. And that in itself will bring you back down. Because throughout the day, listen, we have a lot of things being thrown at us from phone calls to text to email to meetings to this, to that, our calendar, our schedule, what we're doing over the weekend, where we're going for dinner, all of those things. And it takes away from our ability to focus. But we all know when it comes to our own personal achievement, personal success, both in terms of career, self, family, etc., we got to be present, we got to be there, and we got to be in the moment at all times. So again, take time, morning, midday, and evening if you can, for four minutes. It's a total of you know, 12 minutes a day. And do it for a week and see how you feel. If you could only do it once a day, do it once a day, but do it consistently for five days and let me know how you feel, okay? Simple exercise, 444 for four minutes. I'll see you later. Coach Dana Cavalier, see you.